Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, summer special number four. Might be the last summer special depending on how the weather goes, but I mean, it's gonna be an exciting one today. I'm super pumped for this one. Been away for a little bit, but I mean, we're back into it, so let's get started. So, today we're making hamburgers. We're, but usually, if you think of hamburgers, you're thinking, take them out of the freezer, get them all nice and nice, guys fixed up, get the grill ready, pop them on, and then you just get your buns ready, all that stuff pre-made. So this time, we're gonna make our own mm. handmade. So besides the buns, everything else will be fully made and it'll be an exciting one. Right. Hello everybody, we're back. There's a lot of stuff going on here yeah. for hamburgers, right? Yeah. But uh, we're gonna have some fun today. This is gonna be really, really cool. Yeah, we're gonna do hamburgers our way. We're gonna kick it up a couple of notches. We got a couple of different things going on. Um, but really, what hamburgers really start with is a really good quality beef. So I went to the butcher today and I got some really, really amazing ground chuck. So he ground this really nice piece of beef shoulder just for us, just for our hamburgers. Here it is here. We're gonna make, I don't know, 12, 14 patties. We'll get to that in a little bit, in the, in, yeah, just in a little bit. Uh, we got our buns here, we got some big, we got stuff for, for afterwards, but we, we actually have to assemble the burger. We got some things happening before. We're gonna make a really cool sauce to go with these burgers. So, secret sauce, uh, right? Yeah. Something like that, but it's our sauce. Um, McDonald's has their kind of secret sauce for yeah. the Big Macs. We're gonna have this really, really cool, kind of spicy, really tangy, really flavorful sauce. Mm -hmm. So I think, Mateo, our next step is let's take everybody through all of our ingredients, and then this is all gonna come together really fast, uh, so we'll get to it. Let's so do I it. think uh, yeah, we'll, we'll take everyone through this. Let's do it. All right, so starting with our beef. So we have about enough beef here to do about, uh, I don't know, 12, 14, three ounce patties. So we're gonna actually make very, very thin patties, two patties per burger, which is kind of different than what we normally do, kind of different than what you buy in a, in a frozen box. So we have enough meat here. Really all, all like all we're gonna season this meat here is with, uh, we have about two and a half teaspoons, uh, maybe three teaspoons of Dijon mustard. Dijon mustard, we're gonna mix that all together. We're gonna make three ounce patties and that's really how the beef's gonna go. That's all we're gonna put on it and then we're gonna build layers and flavors, okay? so. Um, we're gonna make this really cool sauce, okay? The way the sauce is gonna start, we have about a, uh, I think that's about a nice small whole kind of onion. Uh, Mateo just sliced that up. We're gonna fry this and get it nice and golden brown. With that, we got about a, 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 I think it's like a jalapeno pepper, maybe a jalapeno and a half. We just slice that up as well. We're gonna just really cook that really well, get them golden brown. That's gonna form the base of our sauce. We've got about a quarter cup of mayonnaise, about a third, cup of ketchup. We have some uh, olive and kind of pepper muffalata. That's gonna go in there, gonna give it a nice little little pep and little spice. We have uh, the juice of one lemon. We're gonna build all that together. We have about a tablespoon of fresh cilantro, about a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, quarter teaspoon of salt. Put that all together, that's gonna be our sauce. We're gonna start with that before we actually get our meat ready. And then we have our nice buns here. We got some bacon, we have processed cheese. Like it's the a, cheapest cheese out there. It's the best on burger. Well, why are we using processed cheese? It is the it's best. the best on burger. It tastes awesome. The melt on processed cheese is the best. That's why we're using it. It's still in its plastic. We gotta, we gotta deal with that a little bit. We got some fresh tomato. Uh, we may get some lettuce as well, just to kind of, you know, finish our burger sure. off. So first things first, let's get our sauce all combined together and then we can get cooking on our burgers. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay guys, so we're outside now. Uh, getting for our sauce so we got our uh, we got our onion and we got our jalapeno we're gonna put this in that's gonna melt down it's gonna caramelize all that stuff so we got some vegetable oil in here letting it so it's super smoky right now it's just because of how hot it is I'll show you put it in super hot right now and we're gonna put our jalapeno in burning hot a little bit too hot but that's okay Gonna heat down a little bit. Flip it up. Flip it up. Mix it around. It's all good. B big tip though: if your oil ever starts smoking up, be sure to turn down the heat or take the pan off until that oil has cooled down a little bit. If not, then your stuff will burn. 
But yeah, we're just gonna keep mixing this, keep um, flipping it all that stuff until um, until the stuff starts melting down nicely. Alrighty, so Mateo's outside. He's got those onions. He's got those jalapenos. They're fired up. They're gonna take about 10 minutes. So while he's doing that, I'm gonna get our burger patties ready. So as I said, we got a really, really nice ground beef here. A little bit of fat in it, but really, really good quality. I've got our Dijon mustard, and we're just gonna put that right in there. I'm gonna mix it in with my hands. And that's really gonna be the base seasoning. We're gonna keep seasoning afterwards, but I'm just gonna get this Dijon in real quick. All right, we'll do that. And then just really easily just mix with my hands. Getting a bit of a mess here, that's okay. And then what we want to do here is we just want to kind of very gently, uh, we don't want to mix this up too much because otherwise then the beef's going to get a bit mushy, but that's okay. So we just want to get the Dijon uh, and, the, and the flavors of that kind of distribute as much as possible. And that's really it for this beef, guys. So that's all we're going to do, okay? So I'm going to just mix this up a little bit more, a couple more times, okay? I've got a scale here. And we're gonna to try to just measure out three to four ounce burgers. So these are gonna be um, smaller burgers, but we're gonna do two per burger. So two per bun, um, and that's gonna be kind of cool. They're gonna cook really, really fast. I got a couple of plates here. We're gonna actually smash them down so they're gonna be super, super thin. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this beef here. I'm gonna portion them out into three ounce portions. I'm gonna do that while Mateo is getting those onions ready. And when we come back, the burgers will all be portioned out just like this. I'm gonna just use this little wax paper. I'll put, let me just measure that out. That's perfect, about three ounces. So all we gotta do is just take this little kind of meatball here. We put it here in one plate. I've got another plate. I'll put another piece of little parchment paper on top and we're just gonna smash it. So we'll just go like this and just smash. And what'll happen is we will have this really cool thin burger patty. So we're gonna do that. We'll all mix meat here. I'll get it on a plate. They're gonna be ready for the grill. They're gonna cook super, super fast. Why don't we get outside and see how Mateo's onions and jalapeno peppers are doing. Once they're done, we're gonna chop them up. We're gonna mix all these other ingredients for the sauce, and then we'll be ready for the grill with these burgers. So we'll be right back. Okay, back out. Um, these are looking awesome. As you can see, they're nice and getting nice and not, not black, but brown. Nice and caramelized, nice and soft, nice and sweet. It's awesome. So far, if I have to say I've spilt a little bit, but I mean, I'm doing good so far. So we're just gonna keep cooking these for a little bit longer. Come off, they're gonna come off the heat. They're gonna be super soft, super tender, and we're gonna mix it all together with our sauce. It's gonna look awesome. Be back soon. Okay, so these are basically done. I'm gonna put them back into a bowl. Give them a couple more flips, put them in the bowl. Bring it back inside, and we'll get when we'll continue on our journey of our marvelous hamburger. Be back soon. All right, so Mateo has got really, really nice caramelization on those peppers and those onions. That's amazing. I've got all of our burgers. Look, like really, really super thin. I just put these little pieces of parchment paper in between. These are going to hit the grill really, really soon. First thing now is our sauce. We got to get our sauce together. This was the first thing. Just going to put that onto a uh, it's really, really hot. Just put it on the cutting board. And all we're going to do is we're just going to chop these up, nice and fine. So the peppers, the jalapeno peppers, a little bit of spice. I took a lot of the seeds and the pith out just so that it wasn't going to be overly hot. So we're just going to just chop these up with those onions. Really, really nice color on them. And we'll just chop those up real quick. These are going to go into our bowl. And then from there, we're just going to put the other ingredients together. I think that's about good. Just give the sauce a little bit of texture. Run my knife through that a few more times. Ooh, that smells really, really good. Wow, that smells great. Okay, there we go. So I got a little bowl here. I'm going to put this back into here. All right. And then we've got our other ingredients. We're gonna just put everything together. So we're not gonna to get too fussy. Just wipe my hands here real quick. So we have our cilantro, about a tablespoon that's gonna go in, black pepper and salt, everything in there just like so. Very good. Uh, so we have here uh, about a quarter cup of our mayonnaise. We'll put the mayonnaise in. This is gonna be a really, really flavorful sauce. So put that in there like that. Ketchup, just a little bit less of ketchup, but a third. 
put that in there like so. We have our spicy olive mufalata. This is kind of a special kind of ingredient that we'll add here. It's gonna add some extra heat, a little bit more zing, which we like. We have a juice of a lemon here. We're gonna probably just go up with half of that. It was a big lemon. We'll do that. And there you go. Just gonna mix this all together. It's gonna be a really, really nice sauce for our beautiful burger patties. All right. And there we are. And there it is. So there is our sauce. It's got nice texture. I'm just gonna give that a little bit of a taste. That is absolutely delicious. That's gonna go so, so great with our beautiful burgers. And I think from here, we're gonna go back outside. Our grill is preheated. We're ready to go. The burgers will take a couple of minutes. It's all gonna to come together. I can't wait. Mateo, I'm coming out to the grill. All right, we're at the grill. Burger time. They're ready for the grill. The grill's nice and hot. So we are using a nice grill pad. These I find are really, really good. Um, it just really helps, especially with thin stuff. It, it really, really generates awesome heat. That's all we need. So I got, I'm just gonna slap these right on. Oh, getting nice sizzle already, that's great. And we're just gonna put as many as we can fit on here. They're not gonna take very long. So I'm gonna try to get these on quickly so we don't lose a lot of heat. Got about 12, I would say, maybe 14. I would probably say about a minute per side, maybe 90 seconds. And uh, that's really it. Once the burgers are done, we're gonna get the cheese on them so we get some nice, nice melting on them. And uh, that's gonna be it. So we'll be right back in a couple of minutes. These are gonna come together really, really quickly. Oh, I just made a mess of that one. Let's fix that. All right, there we go. Oh, look at that. Get them all in one shot. All right, we'll be right back. All right, the burgers have been on first side about, I don't know, a minute, 90 seconds. Relative. Hasn't been that long, but they're so thin. The grill is so hot. We can see the smoke coming out of the grill. Crazy. I think it's probably time to check them. I think so. It's one flip. We'll get some cheese on. We're going to pull them off. We're going to assemble. Let's, let's take this. Let's go. Oh, yeah, look at this. We're getting some nice crust on the outside of them. Yeah. So we're just going to flip those really easily. Oh yeah, that's perfect, perfect. What's really neat about this mat is that, uh, like you can do anything with this mat. It's actually pretty cool. And luckily the, because usually when you're grilling burgers and all that type of meat, usually the oils and stuff, they'll go to the bottom and it'll cause like fires and all that. So what's good about this is it keeps the oil inside and it helps like, um, helps cook the burgers nicely without, um, without splattering the oil everywhere and having too many under fires. All right, we almost got them all flipped. This one's just about broken, but I fixed it just before. Oh, good. And we're gonna leave, we're gonna put them all together on one side because what I'd like to do, is I'll actually wanna start to toast our buns, right? Yeah. So we'll get our buns toasted for a second. So we'll leave these guys just over here. What's the cost of cooking? We've got a nice little grill here. These are going to take another, I would say, 60 to 90 seconds. We're going to toast our buns real quick, and then uh, we're going to bring everything inside and put it together and try this delicious burger. It's going to be awesome. All right. Burgers are just about done. Yep. Time for the cheese. They look awesome. This is how we're gonna do this. One slice of cheese per patty. So, here, why don't you take a few of those slices and give me a hand? Sure, I guess. I'll do this side, you do that side. Just slap them right on. We're gonna stack these as soon as they start to melt. And our buns are toasted. And we're just about ready to go here. This is great. Here. I got the last one. And there we go. All right, we're gonna just put that lid down. We're just gonna let these guys just melt just for a sec. We're gonna stack them. We're gonna take this inside. 
We're gonna put our burgers together. It's gonna look awesome. And I think it's uh, gonna be delicious. All right, we're right back. All right, burgers ready to come off. The cheese is really nicely melted. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna stack them. We'll put one burger on one. We'll put this guy on there. And we'll just put them all on top of each other. And that's how we're actually going to serve it in our buns. Push this guy here. All right, these will be like little double smash burgers, double cheese. We got some bacon, we got some really cool sauce inside. Mateo, are you ready for uh, assembling these guys together or what? Oh, I sure am. All right, inside we go. Time to plate, time to try these. They're gonna be great. All right. Look at this, it smells delicious, doesn't it? it what do you awesome. think? It looks awesome. So we had all this stuff going on and we're ready to put this burger together. I'm ready, yeah. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun, it's super quick. But I think awesome. what do you think is gonna be good? It's gonna be awesome. Okay, so here's how we're gonna assemble these burgers together. Okay, so we're gonna have one of our buns. We're having this for dinner, so we're just gonna do one for the favorite part of our show, which is, you got it. So now this is the plating. We're gonna eat right after this, so here we go. Just toasted the buns on the grill. Okay, first things first, we have our beautiful sauce. It's been sitting here, just a little teaspoon. We're gonna hit that. We hit that a little bit more, eh? What do you say? Yeah, for sure. So that's the bottom. Gonna hit both sides of the bun, okay? This is gonna be a nice sloppy burger, but why not, okay? So there's our crown, there's our base. We're gonna grab one of these guys, doesn't matter which one. Here we go. We'll put it right down there. Oof, that looks good, doesn't it? Okay, we got some bacon. Hit some bacon on that. Bacon, okay, I'm gonna grab one. I'm gonna put one more piece Oh of yeah, I can't ever have enough bacon. Oh, sure, yeah. why not? Awesome. Let's hit that with a couple tomatoes. A couple tomatoes. Okay. You slice those up really nicely. These are really nice field tomatoes. Yeah. A couple of those, piece of lettuce. One piece of lettuce. This with a little bit more sauce on top of the lettuce, just like so. We're gonna hit that with the crown. Look at that. Look at that burger. Right? Right? Looks right? awesome. Okay, wow. you know what? Taste test time. I'm gonna cut this in half just so you and I can get all messy here and give that a shot. Mm -hmm. There you go. It's gonna be a little hot. It came off the grill. Look at that. There's the inner of that burger. We'll do a zoom. Look at that. How does that look? That looks pretty good. Taste test. Cheers to you, pal. Cheers. That was fun. Let's go. It's supposed to be messy. Mm -hmm. If it isn't messy, it's not a good burger. I don't know. I'm not going to show off. That's pretty delicious. What do you think? So pretty amazing. Right? Right? I think it was worth all that work. Amazing, look at that. Our hands are messy. Yeah. We're gonna finish that off. We're gonna eat the rest of these. What do you think? It's so good, so flavorful. It's awesome. Oh, wow. Episode four of our summer special. How could we not do a hamburger special episode? We did it. It was fun, super easy, yep. super delicious. Great job, pal. Great job. That was awesome. Thank you, and thank you guys. Um, it was fun. See you guys next time. We will be back soon. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Give this a shot. This sauce with these burgers, spectacular. Thanks, everybody. See you next time.